issues and difficult negotiations are today's top picks from Reuters Breaking Views. Goldman Sachs outgoing CFO David Vinyar is a tough act to follow, they say. And throwing cash at striking miners might not be the answer. Uh, with me is uh, Chris Hughes. Um, Mr. 25 standard deviation. Mm. Um, I mean, that sums up these sort of worrisome phrases he, uh, <laughs> he occasionally came up with. But he has a lot of crisis experience. And he has made some very hard but right calls at the right time. Yeah, look, I mean, if you think back to the crisis, I mean, those, those conference calls, those quarterly earnings calls uh, that Goldman staged where uh, David Vinia, uh, you know, took the mic and had to uh, essentially you know, calm the market's fears. And uh, uh, arguably, you know, he succeeded in very difficult times. And, yeah, he came out with some choice phrases. So, you know, he's one who said... We are seeing 25 standard deviation events, you know, th three days in a row yeah, or whatever it was, yeah. you know, um, <laughs> was clearly make you think, well, hang on a moment, <laughs> do you really understand the risks that you're getting involved with here? But, you know, actually, yeah. you know, um, given that the CFO role at an investment bank is often actually a pretty tough one and, and, and the path from there um, uh, can actually be... Um, you know, the exit. Mm. Uh, actually, yeah, he, he, he did tremendously well. So he's, he's very difficult shoes to, to, to fill, actually. Okay, let's talk about Harvey Schwartz then. Yeah. Um, he comes from the risk side, right? The risk committee he sat on at Goldman. Yeah, I mean, so when you actually um, look at the career path of, uh, of, of CFOs, you know, it's, it's, um, they're not always, you know, sometimes they come from equities. Um, you know, they haven't always been, you know, sometimes they haven't always sort of been, 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 been sort of pure finance brains, if you like, right? But, um, I mean, you know, Harvey actually will have the support of David Vineyard going forward. Uh, uh, Vineyard's going to be, uh, you know... Looking over his shoulder. Well, <laughs> it depends on how you look at him. Is it looking over his shoulder or is it actually providing a little bit of... Um, handy advice in the background, hopefully, hopefully the latter. All right. Um, Lonmin, uh, this 22% pay deal uh, is the other story I want to look at this morning. Um, it sets a very, very dangerous precedent, this, this deal, doesn't it? Uh, it's not sorted out by the unions. It's sorted out by the, stri by the uh, Wildcat uh, um, strikers. Um, it doesn't doesn't set a great precedent for the rest of the industry. And I, I in fact, I spoke with, uh, with uh, Nick Holland from Goldfields yesterday mm. about this very issue. Well, it's tricky, isn't it? Because well, look, let's start with the positive. I mean, it does actually solve an immediate problem in that um, hopefully over the coming days it will actually get um, strikers back to work and get, you know, I mean, the production can, can, can really get going again. Um, now the difficulty with it is that it, um, you know, it's quite a substantial uh, pay rise that, that Lonman's offering, and that is going to put more pressure again on on margins. So economically, it's it's challenging this business over the over the longer term, and there there might be a worry too, of course, that um, that uh, if it's perceived as uh, as, as caving in, it's going to encourage more strikes. But the, mm -hmm. the real problem is that, you know, as I say, that the the the, the sort of economic long-term legacy of this is very is is could be very tricky. So, so you've, you you're sort of you know you're 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 getting this immediate benefit of just sort of calming the situation, but it's creating perhaps a more difficult long-term problem for the platinum, in, platinum industry in South Africa. Okay, Chris, many thanks for that. You can read uh, both those stories, of course, uh, on the Breaking View site. Uh, for more uh, financial insight, watch our U.S. Breaking Views show every day, 12.30 Eastern, 17.30 BST. I'm Axel Throffel. This is Reuters.